channels and you're here and you made it through the reason they sent us here some of the biggest guys that I've taken down have come out of this area okay this is an important mission they're gonna be sending me cross country I'm, be I'm being deployed to Arizona to fight a fight in the desert and they need me to take these guys down before I go and I need your help all right it's just us right now I've called in for backup I got uh, Mojo and some of the guys coming, right? Now, I've called in uh, artillery. They're going to send in the heavy guns. I got Dream Mats coming, all right? They're on their way here. All we're going to have today is the hog mats and the metal shovel, all right? They've already seen me in this camouflage, so I'm going to have to go in blue today, all right? These guys are kind of tricky. But I know where they hang out, all right? So, guys, keep your heads down. We're going to head into the, the area where I've been extracting them before. It's been raining, so some of them might be on the move. So keep your heads down. And if you see anybody, don't be afraid to take your shovel out and take a shot. I've got this. We can hold them in here for now until we get them back to uh, our safe house later tonight. And we'll get them into a vial. All right. Now, we're just going to take as much material out of here as we can. We're going to run it right, through us. We're down here now. I've already got some, uh, some guys in the bucket. We're going to run them through the box. I came down around the bend. Bam, it was right there. So I had to take them down. They're right over there right now. All right. All the signs that these guys have been around are here. I'm gonna show you guys a few reasons why. Check out this quartz. are all good indicators that these guys are around. If you look at this stuff, it just screams. They're here. Look at this. That's a big cemented ball of gravel. We're going to take that back to base later. 
I'm gonna explain to you guys something. We got stuff coming down this hill. It's coming down around the corner here. It hits this main flow. Now these guys have been traveling right in the line right here. Okay? I'll show you a reason why too. I came over here, I was scouting this out and I found this piece of aluminum. This is really light. If you notice right here where we're camped out by this big tree, that's all sand and stuff. Like I told you in my last video, as the, the flood's dying down, all the light stuff comes down and it co covers over. So that's where the sand was, right? All these big rock lines are up, the big rocks are in a line up here. So as we traveled across here, I was scouting this out. I found that aluminum. As I got over to here, I'll show you what I found. It's, good. it's probably going to get loud because we're right near the battle zone now. I found this piece of old steel. Okay, right there. So I started digging right there. All right, look at how these rocks are all piled up there. These are all big rocks. Big rock line here, and big rock line right there. This river here splits up and it comes over here. So it's got force coming in this way and force coming in this way. And this water's coming down. So there's a lot going on right here. So it made this line of rock, that line of rock, and then the one we're standing on now. All right. We're gonna take these guys. The Ant-Man Miners Militia is about to run its first bucket. All right, let's get some more uh, equipment going. Oh, 1200 hours. We gotta dig, 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 dig. All right, troops. We're back here. Back at the spot where I first grabbed these guys a couple months back. It's Thanksgiving Day, Turkey Day. We got leave. We're allowed to go home and eat some uh, dinner with our family. If you look over there, that's Mojo down there. Working some bedrock. I'm gonna walk you guys down there and show you this spot. We chased those guys down all night. We got the stream screamer going over there. All right, nice brookside fire. Keep our feet warm. All right, I'm working back down around that big boulder again, just like I was. I got underneath it, get some nice material out of there. I'll walk you guys down, show you uh, what we're doing down here. Show you the material we just found. It's a nice bedrock old crop way down there too. Really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how the stream cleaner works in a minute. Now we went back to uh, the safe house last night. And we were going to run the gold cube, but a little bit of issues last night. So we're going to see if I can do it tonight. But, got Mojo over here. Oh, the gold wolf. Take a look. Right here. Look at all this rust coming up out of the hill. John just worked on this crack right here. Conglomerate. He's working down in here. I worked a little bit in that crack there. Got some good color out of that. Right down in here too. But if you look right down under that bridge, there's some really nice bedrock. All these cracks. See all the rust coming out of the hill here too on the bedrock. All frozen pockets, but some nice cracks coming in here. Nice quartz vein going across there. All open bedrock everywhere. It's a really nice spot down there. You can see everything comes over this rock with a lot of pressure. It drops out and all the sandy stuff's down here. It's not gonna be much over there. But right there where all those rocks are jammed up on the bedrock, that's where you want to go. This piece of quartz. Quartz, quartz, quartz. Alright, let's take a walk up here. Show you guys how the streams stream uh, cleaner works. Let's 
It's a lot faster than classifying buckets. I can fill that whole tub in like five minutes, especially if you're shoveling right onto it. But I'm actually working a little bit further away, so I'm walking it up. It's still faster. All right, I'm gonna attack this stuff. See ya. You guys remember my gold in the can video? Well that can came from this hole and look what's in there after the flood. Another flip of can. Oh 1200 hours, we gotta dig dig dig. Alright troops, that man here. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm working. This is where the pay dirt's gonna come from. I'm gonna show you the material. I'll show you how good this stuff is. You can see this bedrock here, okay? I'll clean that little crack out. That's bedrock right here. And it dips down. It's a pocket right here with another big crack that I've been working on. And there's another pocket right there, and then the bedrock gems back up. Now, if you look, the reason I'm working here, see all these big rocks. There's nothing there. Big rocks. Right in a line. Look at that rock. If that rock was traveling in this line, the heaviest stuff was right here. All these rocks are in a line here. You want to be looking for that. There, Kevin Podowski uh, out with me today. Uh, I haven't dug with him before. Good guy. I want to put him on some gold. Get some nice color. See all the iron coming out of this hill. So I'm in the pea street plus there's some good iron here. So we got all this stuff here, and then right down at the bottom, you're getting into that nice red clay. Got a gold convoy back there. We're rolling four deep through the mountains this morning. Got up, a little bit cold. Well, actually, we didn't just get up, we got up a long time. We don't eat breakfast. We a All right, troops. Yeah, man, here. We got a new recruit here. We got Deborah. Say hi, Deborah. Hi. You getting some gold? She's new to the prospecting, oh. teaching her some stuff, showing her uh, where to dig, and she's getting some gold. She's got gold in her first pan. We got Kevin over here. He's been getting some good gold, too. We had Mojo here. He took off. He had to uh, get home to his, his woman. So, to give you guys a quick layout of what's been going on. I've been attacking this bedrock here. It dips down here and dips back down this way. Got that nice crack cleaned out, and then there's another crack like that right down in there. Now, I got this set up here. I got the stream sluice, uh, stream cleaner right here. 
Now I can shovel directly onto that, fill four buckets up in a matter of minutes. The tub underneath there with just a screen. And all I gotta do is dam that back up, let the water back through this way when I wanna run this loose. So that's what we've been doing. This is where I'm gonna be taking the bucket to Peter from. It is unbelievable good stuff. I'll take you up top. Right there. Right where my finger is, right right above my thumb. Uh focus. I'll try to get a picture of it tonight. It's breaking out of a vein. This quartz vein is right where we're working. That's why there's so much iron and uh, black sand and stuff. Let's take a look at the black sand in the uh, magma trap. Alright, we're going to be doing a covert mission. We're going to be climbing the mountain. Going up on a uh, recon mission, get some shadow gold. All right, folks, bring it back on the deck. Really? Troops, so I want you to pay attention to the street right now. All right? See it? It's kind of black looking. We're gonna go down the road a little bit. The road will tell you where some good mineralized areas are. It's really heavy black sands in the road right now. And it's gonna turn to a white. And then as we go down the road. You'll see areas that turn to like a brownish, reddish tan color. Those areas are good. We're going from a black to a tannish orange right now. This is the tannish orange stuff that we're on now. I know there's good gold to my left and my right. Still the tannish orange. Getting to a little more black sand. Now we're turning into white. How bright white it is. This area here, I haven't found any gold in. Not even little stuff. Right? Still in the white stuff. Uh, now the reason this is like this is because it's uh this used to be an old channel back in the 
gold was depositing, plus it eroded certain parts of the mountain as the glacier was coming over and ripped out iron veins and pockets like that. So as the stuff comes down the hill, it's depositing onto the streets. It's all white here, white, white, white. This area here, right up past this oh, sky view. See, it's all still white here. Okay? A lot of this is crushed quartz, too, what they get down on the road. Ah, sorry. get through this area here, start noticing the color change on the road. It's getting darker, getting darker, starting to get more of that orange in the road now. As we get up to the top of this hill, it starts getting dark, dark, dark. this hill getting dark to a low point in the road low point in the valley more mineralization some dark streaks and it turns to patchy again back to white now we're gonna get to these really dark spots I've been finding these hard pockets look at this dark spot on the road right here okay I'm finding these iron pockets now that I know where the fuel them are, as I'm going down the road, the road changes and it turns to that color right where the, the iron pockets are in the river. So I'm thinking that the road's telling you a little bit about where the gold might be too. Now we're turning into more of that yellowish brown kind of, which has got some gold in it too. Getting to a better area now, the road's getting dark. Dark right here, it's a dark patch right here. Let's put gold to my right. All dark here. All really good gold to my right. to my right. And then it gets white right here. And then it gets real dark right here. Super, super dark right here. Awesome pocket to my right. All white here. Now look at this part right here. It's going to be hard to tell on the camera, but this is like a dark reddish orange driving on right now. It's an awesome iron vein right to my right. Then I turn to the white again. And then right here, it is super, super red and orange. This spot to my right is insane right now. I mean, telling you what. Okay? This whole area right now to my right is just packed with gold. Look at these tire tracks, look at the tire tracks, they're really dark, 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 orange, red, alright. We're going to have to do some mud flat mining, driving down the road like I was explaining all the darkness, look at that little pocket there, stuck on the license plate. All the running boards, look at all that gravel. This is hardcore folks. Only the hottest of the hottest are left. Kevin and myself. That's snow. It's snowing.
We're trying to finish this hole up, grab some dirt and get the heck out of here. Folks, this is where we're at, free cleanup. That's just what I had cleaned out down the river. We're back at the gold room now. A bucket of cons there, bucket of cons there. Bucket, 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 bucket. Bucket. Going through the gold cube. With the dream map. Vortex, Vortex, Green Map, Gold Cube, in the gold room. Gotta do a uh, sluice off between these two, get that on. Alright, let's get to it. straights to go and I still got a couple buckets that we took back lots and lots of fine gold this time which is abnormal usually it's mostly chunky stuff so I'm thinking maybe that spot that I was at on the bedrock should have been up a little bit further but Gold is gold. So, gonna have to uh, do a part two with the Dream Mat Hog Mat Sluice Off because this video is getting pretty darn long. And I wasn't too happy with the setup that I had for the running the. Uh, tests some pretty cool looking pieces in here Let's see if I can get a Just going like this, huh? do have a bunch of the gold plus this gold is going to be going into uh, some pay dirt bags. I need to get rid of them. I do have two set up right now. This is the same material, just not run. I'm going to be dumping some gold and we're going to be doing that video along with the Dream Mat Sluice Off. Alright folks, so thanks for coming along on another Ant-Man adventure. The AU Ant-Man. Uh, I hope to see you on my next video, 
and thanks for staying tuned and I'm always willing to help anybody as you can see in this video I had some people come up with me this time and I uh, put them right on some color so I'm more than happy to help out while I'm still here and uh, if you guys ever have any questions and um, you want to uh, shoot them out to me in my comments section I'd be glad to answer them for you alright so another Ant-Man adventure is over for now We'll do a part two here with the rest of the cleanup and the uh, Dream Mad Hog Matt Sluice off. So don't miss that. We did run the Dream Cube. And let me tell you what, that thing is uh, the real deal. That's the old Vortex. That's the Dream Cube. That's what I'm talking about, folks. So we'll be running these two against each other. It's a close, uh, that one's a half inch wider. And uh, they're the same length, but the fans are a little different. The length of the sluice is a little different, so. And then I got this one here that's just for a recirc that has no UR, uh, UV in it, so it can't be outside, it'll break down. That's the old style dream. It doesn't have the uh, little drop V in it. I think this one does. See the little drop V there. I like that. And I like the Dream Cube. So, from the Gold Room, another cleanup done. And, uh, yeah, subscribe. Hope you guys like this craziness. We're going to be doing the uh, Ant Man Miners Militia. If you want to be part of that, leave a comment at the bottom of this and I'll explain some more. The two people that have uh, ordered pay dirt already this week are going to be entered into the monthly contests. And uh, we're going to do like a patron thing and give away uh, bags of uh, some real nuggety pay dirt. Not just the picker pay dirt, but some nugget pay dirt. And some other fun giveaways. I got a miller table, uh, homemade miller table over there. I'm going to give away that. And, uh, yeah. So, till the next one. There's the gold. And we're going to get some more of it. Thanks, folks. Troopers, you guys are the real deal. All right.